Mombasa residents are, are struggling with the rising cost of living as incomes dwindle and disappear as our local hotel industry and port related businesses struggle. It is for this reason that immediately after this, I shall report to my office to sign my first executive order on the waiving of license penalties levied on markets and businesses during the COVID-19 period to enable our business resume normal operations without undue financial burden. Moreover, to jumpstart our economy, my county government shall invest in our young people. We will roll out the Skills Mitaani program through the Serikali Mitaani structures that will enable our youth to get certified technical training. Our young people will then be able to convert their experience as hairdressers, masons, electricians, plumbers, and so on into recognized certificates. Once qualified, we will enter all these young people into a job database. They will provide a one-stop shop for talent recruitment in Mombasa County. This database will allow us to source job opportunities for this youth in the diaspora over and above the local opportunities. We will revive Mombasa to the glory of old. Mombasa soon will see a revamp of dormant businesses as well as expansion of existing ones through our business-friendly policies. Despite being strongly in Azimio, I will work together with the County Assembly to fast-track legislation to consolidate licenses in Mombasa into a single business permit. The new single business permit shall cover all forms of county licensing, including